Hey, how's it going, everybody? Phil Rizzo for the podcast entitled Light Em Up. We're now being downloaded in more than 94 countries around the globe. Also here for Criminal Justice and Forensic Science 3500. So today in class, we're talking about the Jalen Walker case again and the Akron Police Department. Now, let me tell you this. This is the fact. Police lie. They lie so frequently. There's a term called test lying where officers just lie, 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 lie from the witness stand under oath, whatever that really means anymore nowadays. They lie to cover their own behinds. They lie to protect the thin blue line and all that jazz. I don't buy and I don't believe what the officers are selling in this specific case. All eight officers stated that Jalen Walker was motioning into a firing position my gluteus maximus muscles okay you can't fire a gun if you don't have a gun those coppers wanted to punish that young black man for disobeying them their egos were hurt that's what the situation was firing close to 90 rounds they riddled his body with 60 shots you would not never even shoot a rabid pit bull like that they violated their own damn policies on pursuit. A broken taillight does not merit a 10-car police chase. I want my tax dollars spent in a more effective and efficient way of 21st century policing. I'm sorry, but this case will go down in the books as a textbook case of excessive force, zero effort in de-escalation, and an abuse of Mr. Walker's civil rights under the color of authority. There needs to be a consent decree with the Department of Justice and the city of Akron regarding its police department and the mayor, the deputy mayor, and the chief of police. All of those jolly jokers need to lose their jobs over this specific case. Phil Rizzo for the podcast entitled Light Em Up and for Criminal Justice and Forensic Science 3500. Thanks.